reports of the city's teenagers pointing their toes. <laughs> it's all thanks to uh, professional dancers from Birmingham Royal Ballet who are giving around 80 teenagers a crash course in what is one of the most disciplined forms of dance. And the idea is to bring ballet out of the theatre and uh, into the community. Indeed, and our arts reporter Lindsay Dodd has been to dance class. It may look effortless on stage, but it takes years of discipline, training and pain. That is, unless you're taking part in ballet, Birmingham and me. Make sure you try and hit like that position in the air. 80 young people are receiving a crash course in dance, lighting and set design. They're doing everything. I mean, we, the first class, we, we sort of started with just bar work. And we've gradually worked to, you know, pirouettes in the centre. I mean, we have them doing everything. It's a collaboration between Birmingham Royal Ballet, Birmingham Youth Service and Association of Youth Clubs. The idea is to bring what some consider to be highbrow arts to areas of Birmingham where major companies rarely visit. The young people involved in the project come from youth clubs and youth centres around the city. The Marlbrook here in Bartley Green, Kitts Green, Ladywood. Young people who've never danced before, young people who've never seen a ballet performed before. It's been absolutely amazing. We've been able to work with them and then give them, they've been giving us advice and we've been watching them perform actual like ballets like Simino and the Nutcracker. Measuring up for costume, all 80 teenagers will be involved in a production of Prokofiev's Cinderella at the end of November, running alongside the BRB's own production of the famous ballet. Later on we're going to get uh, a dress fitted. Well, not dress, obviously. <laughs> Well, hopefully not for you. Yeah. And are you, what part are you hoping for? Um, over the prints or buttons. Auditions for principal parts take place over the next two weeks. Who will be going to the ball? I'd be happy with any role, just, you know, performing on the stage is a, probably a great opportunity for me. So, looking forward to it all. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're looking forward to it, Charlotte, and I can definitely vouch that it's a lot harder to do than it actually looks from what I remember years ago when I you were a know. child. <laughs> no, I'm sure you wouldn't know. I'm sure you wouldn't know. Good luck anyway. <laughs> but let's find out more now from our arts reporter, Lindsay Doyle, who is, in fact, uh, at the Hippodrome Theatre in Birmingham. Lindsay. I am indeed, Michael, and audiences are starting to arrive now for tonight's performance of The Sound of Music. Come November, they'll be arriving to see our teenagers who have been working so very hard this summer. Well, to tell me more about the project is the artistic director, Dinos Aristidou. Dinos, it's a unique opportunity for these kids, isn't it? Uh, it's a fantastic opportunity. I mean, it's a great opportunity for all of us, really, because it's, um, it's bringing young people from across the whole city of Birmingham together, uh, which is in itself a, a great thing because a lot of them don't um, actually see each other or, or you know, work with each other. Um, so they're coming together, they're working on um, a ballet, uh, Cinderella, which is performed in December. Um, and they've been working on it, some of them, for about 18 months in terms of developing their skills. And now we're getting at the stage where it's um, actually putting it on stage and getting The real it, crash you know, course the now. The real crash course, it's very exciting. Now, we've, as we heard earlier, 100 days into the new government, we have seen a lot of cuts. Is funding secured for this project? Funding is secured for this project, yes, but um, obviously we're hoping that from the legacy of this project there'll be a lot more like it. Um, it's, I think it's really important that young people do feel that these cultural organisations are, are theirs uh, and that these places are, are for them to feel at home at and that's what this project is doing really. Well, good luck with all, Dinos. Thank, Thank you very you. much for joining us. So from the Hippodrome, back to you in the studio. Lindsay, thanks very much indeed.